friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn about one of the most important periods of antiquity. Today, we're going to travel to ancient Greece. Ancient Greece begins in the year 1200 BC and ends in the year 146 BC. It was founded in southeastern Europe near the Mediterranean Sea and the Aegean Sea. In this area, which included a large peninsula and many small islands, the Greek civilization was born and developed. This civilization was made up of a lot of cities called polis. The most powerful were Sparta and Athens. Each polis governed itself and was independent of the rest. Although many times war was declared on each other and sometimes they even allied with one other polis to go against the third. In ancient Greece, women, slaves and foreigners were not considered free citizens. Only the men born in the polis were free citizens and only they could debate about laws, norms and everything that was important for the city. They did it in the Agora, a plaza in the polis. Decisions were made by voting and that is why it is said that the ancient Greeks were the inventors of democracy, the system of government that we currently have in most countries. The Greeks thought a lot and wondered many things about their surroundings. In fact, the Greeks are famous for developing philosophy, the art of thinking. The most important philosophers in history, Socrates, Plato and Aristotle, were Greeks. Because of their political system and philosophers, it is said that the Greeks created the first intellectual civilization. For them, intelligence and knowledge were very important, and that is why they dominated the Mediterranean for centuries. They loved theatre and sports competitions. Do you know that they created the Olympics? Yes, yes, very similar to the Olympics we have now. Surely you've seen them on TV, right? The ancient Greeks were polytheists. They believed in many gods. Greek mythology is full of mysterious stories and legends. The most powerful god was Zeus, lord of lightning, and next to him there were many others like Poseidon, the god of the seas. In Greek mythology there were also heroes like Hercules and Achilles and strange beings like minotaurs and mermaids. As you have learned, in ancient Greece, important things were created that we continue to use today, such as democracy, politics, philosophy, theater, and the Olympics. As we always say, it is fundamental to know the past in order to understand the present and improve the future. Goodbye, friends! Ah, and do not forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV.